What's going on guys and welcome to my uh, motion graphics slash typography tutorial. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to do this simple little animation so you guys can get started with uh, motion graphics. Um, hopefully this won't run too long but I'll do my best to explain exactly how I get this done. So um, as you can see it's just my logo and I got the word typography revealing right there and then I got shape layers like just changing the uh, background color. Um, so you guys go ahead and hop into our new composition and I'll show you how I get this done. Okay, so here we have our two second composition with nothing in it. Um, first thing I'm going to do is just add a background. So hit control Y, um, change it to white, do a white background. Okay. And then I'm going to add another one, control Y and then just make it blue. Just that light blue. Okay. Um, and then next is the obvious. I'm just going to change the position of it. Um, so hit P, right click and separate the dimensions, like that, and then keyframe um, the Y position and then move that down like um, about here, like 45 frames should be perfect. Um, and then just scoot it down and then select the keyframes and hit F9 so we can change the speed of it here. So select the Y and change it like that. So it comes in there fast and slows down. So let's see. It's a little too fast, so I'm gonna scoot this down some. Okay, that should be fine. Yeah, that'll do. All right, so next what we're gonna do is go ahead and just add my logo. Um, here it is. Just drag that into the composition. I'm just gonna scale it down some. Okay, about there should be uh, maybe a little smaller, like 22. Yeah, that's fine. Um, all right, so I'm going to scale this, but instead of just scaling like the logo, I'm actually gonna create a null here. So I can just parent everything to the null. Um, so Control, Alt, Shift, Y, just adds a null and then parent the lo well, my logo to the null is what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna scale it, go from, hit the keyframe button, from zero to 100. So let's see, where do we want it to scale at? F9. Like this, okay. That's not a bad spot actually. Maybe a little sooner. All right, so next I'm gonna add the word typography in here. You know, I don't know if you would actually consider this typography, but um, it might be more motion graphics, but you know, whatever, not a big deal. Uh, I'm just gonna right click, uh, new text, typography, how do you spell that? There we go. And then I'm gonna use the align here to get it in the center. Um, yep, actually the anchor point is moved too. Let me go to full comp, there we go. Um, there's a plugin you can get to get your anchor points in, in the exact middle. Um, but I don't use it. It's called Motion V2, but I don't use that at the moment anyway. Okay, so now let's parent um, the word typography to the null as well. So now it's moving with my logo. Next one to do is um, make the word like reveal. So like it, you know, has its own motion. I'm gonna scale it up a little bit more. Okay, so in order to do that, we're actually gonna create a solid. So let's just go ahead and hit Control Shift Y, oh, Control Y, and then it doesn't matter which color. I'm gonna make a different color just so just to prove it to you. You don't. It doesn't matter what color this is, and I'm gonna mask it. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna click and hold so I can um, pick the right tool and just create a little box like that big. Enough to where it, it could cover the text here, right? So I'm just gonna move it down mm, here. Did I have it moving up or down? I'm moving down, so let's, no, yeah, right over it like that. Okay, so next we want to bring it, that um, solid we just made, bring it right on top of our text layer. So now you want to make sure you're in uh, track map mode right here, just click this button if you don't see that. And then change the, um, the text layer to alpha mat. So now wherever this shape layer is, the text will be um, visible. 
So let me show you that real quick. So if I were to change, take the text and move it around to where, to where it's outside that box, you no longer be able to see it. So you can basically see what we're about to do. We're just going to um, hit P and then right click on separate dimensions and then just keyframe the Y, um, there you go, the uh, Y position. Okay. Now we need to time that with our animation as well. So actually, let me type you and bring that up again. And then where do we want that to come in? It's a little too fast. About there, I think. Okay. Let's take a look. That's not bad. One thing I do want to do is have the um, A scaling continuously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it, I'm going to do its own scale um, and let's keyframe it at the end because that's the size we want it to finish. And let's go towards the beginning and scale it down just a little bit. Like it's at 22. Let's go to just like 18, All right? And maybe a little over 15. Okay. So now you want to easy, easy these for the graph editor and like this, All right? So it'll continuously be moving throughout our animation. It's about right. Like I said, guys, I'm just showing you guys the basics. Um, it's not going to look amazing. Um, just showing you guys how people get certain things done. Um, so next thing I'm going to do is add the circle. Which is actually two ways to do it, but I'm gonna use the easier way, which is use the plugin um, trap code. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So let's go Control Y, and I'm just gonna name it Circle. Oh, oops. Okay. Circle does that doesn't matter the color. Um, go to Effects, Trap Code, Three Stroke, and then change it to Basic Circle right there. Okay. So our circle is not quite centered, so I'm just gonna move it a little bit and scale it some. All right, that's about right. So next thing we're gonna do is play with our start end right here in the uh, 30 stroke. So that's going to animate our circle like that. All right, so let's go ahead and do that some. Um, I'm going to keyframe the start, tap U, and then, so we want to finish there around that area and then oh hold on we need to parent it see that i already forgot i just put everything that i parent to a null underneath so i'm just going to bring it underneath here and then parent the circle to the null so now we've got it's in the right size the entire time okay so now let's parent or let's um keyframe the start in. So let's go to 100. And then I'm going to easy ease this just a little bit. Um, yeah, this way. Not too much though. Okay. All right, so that's not looking too bad. Uh, last thing I did was basically just duplicate our animated circle and made it to where there's more colors in, um, underneath. So what I do to do that, let me change this to white real quick. All right, so I just hit Control D on the circle and then go to the bottom one and change the color to whatever you want. And we're gonna do red for now. And then all I usually do is either change these keyframes or I move the whole layer to the side like that. Um, but whichever way works for you. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna move them all to the side. I think it's gonna look best. Okay, duplicate it one more time. Um, change the color. So like a yellow. Skewed it a little bit. All right. Then duplicate it again. And I'm gonna change it to uh, like a little bit darker blue than what we have here. Maybe about there. Okay. Seems to me 
and then scoot it one more time. All right, it doesn't look perfect. I think I'm gonna parent the um, circle to my logo instead because I like how that motion looks um, continuous. Let's hit, go to all these circles. I'm gonna change it to blue. Let's go to all these circles and then parent this to Ace instead. See how that looks. Kind of like I kind of like that continuous scale, and it would look weird with just the logo and not anything else. Yeah, see that looks a little more natural. And I might want to do that too, actually. Just just cause. But yeah, um, I hope I just find some ideas. That's all this is really for. To show you guys like the um shape layer methods to do in some motion graphics. Um But yeah, um leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Um dislike if this didn't help you at all. <laughs> um but yeah, just let me know what you guys want to see next and um and I'll get right on it. Also, real quick, I had a question on how I did this in one of my edits. So I'm just going to go through how I do this uh, faux 3D effect here. Um, it's just 2D text. I turn a, two, a 3D layer and um, change the rotation a little bit. And I add a, um, a second layer and glow it. So let me just show you how I do that real quick. So first, let's go ahead and uh, add our text. Just right click, new text, um, faux 3D. Um, Anchor point, we'll scale it first. Anchor point in the middle of it. Um, go ahead and change this to black as well. Okay, and then duplicate it. And then change that one to white. And we'll change the position just over a little bit like that. And then I'm gonna add a glow to it. It's a stylized glow. And Bring up the radius about there, okay? And then just check these layers, um, make them 3D like that. And then I'm gonna parent this one to the top one and do all my motion here. So let's press S, bring up our scale and go ahead and scale it in like this. F9, okay. So it scales in, and then now our rotation, which is the important part. This is can be kind of tricky. Um, I had to play around with this a lot before I understood like how this is working. But um, yeah, let's just go to our end, and then put our what our, we want to finish at right there. Our keyframes for where we want to finish, and then go to beginning. Well, I'm gonna go right here so I can see it, and then basically adjust it how we want. So it's gonna be like positive Z. It's gonna do 20. Um, negative? Yeah, let's go positive Y up to, oh, up to 90 degrees. And then our X positive like 15. And I'm gonna bring these to the beginning now. And hit F9. Well, on all these, there we go. And then just adjust these to your liking. Let's go ahead and it's probably gonna look like this though. Okay. That's okay, but you get the idea here. It's really simple. Um, it's not something I really do anymore since I learned Element 3D. But if you do want to, if you don't have a great graphics card or you just don't like 3D text in general, you can do something like this. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Um, leave a like down below if you guys enjoyed, and um, leave some suggestions down below if you have them. And I'll see you guys next time.